Did you know what baseball gave us jazz? No, I'm serious. Look it up. In 1912, a minor league pitcher had a pitch he called the Jazz Curve. Years later, Jazz became the name for the style of music. But the music didn't stop there. Because we played play. Satchel Paige, Jackie Robinson, Buck O'Neill, they wanted to play. And they did play. My Grammy Pat, she played to play. Back in the Bahamas on the sand lots, I played to play. And you better believe that we still play to play. So yeah, like I said, baseball gave us jazz. <laughs> he's been waiting a long time, and it looks like he's going to get that call. Getting drafted is a dream come true. You now have the opportunity to play in the major leagues. You're in a major league system. Hard work and preparation, you can climb the ladder. You have to ask yourself, are you willing to do what it takes to battle every day, to get the job done, to get your team over the top? This game has turned upside down! Are you willing to take that chance? A perfect game! Oh, I can't wait! You talk about a guy who comes much advertised. This is it! I am raring to go! Let's watch! When you hear about certain people who have potential, have great potential, and they go out there every day and prove it, you bet I'll be watching. We might be watching generational talent. The journey begins now. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect gets a call from an experienced scout. You must be kidding. What? They drafted who? We had this circus last year. Getting your first hit out of the way, your first at bat, uh, takes a lot of pressure off you. The first time stepping into the Oakland Coliseum, I was nervous. You know, I'm facing Dave Stewart. You know, I faced him one time in spring training prior to that. And um, now everything that you dreamed about, you know, being in the big leagues, being in the show, uh, you know, I walk up there as second hitter and I'm looking like, oh, my, I'm finally here. And he could have rolled a ball. I'd have probably swung at it. Happy to have you with us. Opening day baseball on the show. 
It's the Arkansas Travelers taking on the Corpus Christi Hooks. I'm a selfish man. And now, please welcome your first pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Alex Santos. The guy that needs to establish himself, just settle in that first time through the order. Be able to command your first pitch, maybe a secondary pitch, and not show too much. That will allow you to get through the order a couple of times before having to turn it over to the bullpen in those middle innings. They're looking for this guy to get through the lineup a couple of times at least, limit some damage, and just right, keep him in this ball game. Like right here. And a foul ball. Up there, huh? Fought off foul. Matajevic at second with two down. Hey, here we go. Come on now. One time. Line drive. Yeah, Base hit. Matajevic around third. Now they've got him in a rundown. The throws oh, off wide. He's safe. And it's 1-0. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not that get cheated. Good. Yeah, that right ball field. was absolutely yeah. smoked. And the right-hander deals. Line drive, short hop to third. They take out. the force out, and that is that. They get a run on two hits. No. All right, this is you. So this two is you. on, but two away. And next Number will be the cleanup hitter, Joe Moses. Yo. Singled and drove oh, in a run his first here. time here we through. Go. Here we go. Hancock, a 6'4 righty, 23 years old. A former first-round pick in 2020. Hey, find something you like up there. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. Oh, baby, see you Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Two left on. On to inning number four. The hooks on top here, one to nothing. Now it's the right the fielder, right field number 12. 12. Spencer Hacker. In the air out to center. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Hooks with the lead, one to nothing. Now here is Joe Moses. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Moses measures six feet, two inches, 210 pounds, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Struck him out. Really fooled him with a breaking ball there. No right Got him out on the front 21. foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And hey now, Here's the left fielder, now number 14. One for two. two. Gabriel Gonzalez. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. Moses raging back towards the wall. Back some more. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Joe Moses. 
What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat, all to again get to first base. Strike two. Just off the inside edge. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Well, a four-pitch save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitters, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Two hours and 36 minutes. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Arkansas Travelers taking on the Corpus Christi Hooks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started and after now, this. Please welcome your Corpus Christi Hooks. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Jaime Melendez. What do we need to know here? He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Yeah, the batter down. Oh, Joe Moses. The center fielder. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Let's fly, let's fly right here. And there's a foul ball. Let's fly, let's go right here. The pitch. And one and two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure. Strike three, got him swinging. Now two out. Been a pretty rough start to this. Base is empty with two away. Now the number two hitter, number five. This one popped up. Machado sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for him. Here's the center fielder, Joe center Moses. Fielder. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Dollar, a 6'3 righty, 195 pounds, and he was a fifth round pick in 2020. Swings through that one, 0 oh 1. Moses measures six feet two inches batting in the cleanup spot he joined the team as a free agent and he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings right. through it keeps the at bat going with a foul ball on and miss struck him out and there's one away simply said this guy's flailing it now next to hit the Zach Deloach Zach Deloach left hand hitter waits out there to center Moses makes the grab and there are two down Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big... Number five digs in now. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. 
Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever. And there's one down. At the play, the Joe fielder, Moses. All the way these two teams have battled in this Moses. game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. You know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Machado, the lead runner out at second. Matajevic at first with no outs. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. The bat. Back to the top of the lineup, Jose Caballero, the next to hit. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. This to center field, Moses. As this one sized up, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that will... And next will be the, the cleanup field. hitter, Number Joe 27. Moses, for the fourth hey, time tonight. Puck it back to work. Gets him to chase oh, after that one. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Hey, find some green, baby. Find some green. And here it comes. Strike two. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knee. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. And our final line score, first for the victorious hook, seven runs on nine hits, no errors, they left four men on base. For the Travelers, two runs, ten hits, three errors, they left 14 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Double A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Arkansas Travelers taking on the Corpus Christi Hooks. And now, please First welcome pitch coming at you right after the break. Corpus Christi Hooks. Just about to get started, and today on the hill... Jairo Solis. Well, he doesn't have overpowering stuff, so it's important that he finds his rhythm early. I think the easiest thing for him is to trust that catcher. Catcher's been in the league a long time. He knows these hitters. Whatever fingers he puts down, you nod the head and you throw that pitch. Runner at first with two away. And now the center fielder, Joe Moses. Next pitch has popped up. Shiner settles underneath it, squeezes it, and that will end the inning. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing, nothing. Here's the center fielder, Joe Moses. He's over one. Moses. Let her rip, let her rip. 
Kolek back to work. Foul ball. Here we go now. Just one at a time. The pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Back here at the ballpark. Now, number five. The second baseman. Solis, a 6'2 righty, 23 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. Solis, back to work. And that one in the air center field. Moses makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus. Bottom of the Leading inning. Off. Leading Corpus off, Christi. Joe Moses. The center fielder. The hooks Joe. in striking distance, Moses. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. On the ground to short. The throw to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball right out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with Not another here. ground ball. Good execute. Now so up next, Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero. That's out to center field. That gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what. Now it's the shortstop, number eight. James Parker. And now the one. In the air, center field. Moses drifts towards it. And that is that. So they make short work of him there. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. All tied up at three apiece. Bottom nine. And now Joe Moses. The center fielder. Joe Moses. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? And a pitch. They say it went. All one for count. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. No Not a swing you want to watch again. Got him. Now one away. And he'll be beating himself. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious hook. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Trappers, three runs, five hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes.
A double-A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Now taking the field. Not and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll here. And our pitcher in this game, number 37. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one. And that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the, the bat. Command and movement is yeah. everything for this guy. Put a good swing on it. Here we go. The wind and the pitch. Right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Oh, the throw is wild. And oh no, it's out of play. Just a terrible throw there. The left field, number 34. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. One out, runner at second. And now, Zach Daniels. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. The pitch. And he walked him. Here's the third baseman, Ryland Bannon. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground. in the infield should be an inning ending double play move to second Moses no, back on a dive safe. Moses the lead runner at second Daniels over at first so going away 
to the right side. Slides, but he can't come up with it. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Here's the shortstop at the play. Shea Whitcomb. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential tying run. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And now the DH, now Joe Moses, reached on an infield single his first time. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Maybe a two ball, five, four, out, three, double out. play. And the inning is over. Well, we can never over. Let's go now. So one, one out, nobody now on. Out. And next the is the designated hitter, hitter Joe, Joe Moses. One Moses. for two. Get your pitch driving right now. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? One down, base is empty. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. And he deals. Ripped on a line. He makes the catch. And there's two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle-of-the-pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 5 nothing, the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. For the hook, no run, three hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the double-A level coming up. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Tommy Henry. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates Leading all of his stuff tonight. into this one. We go to the bottom of the first, digging John in, Carlos. John Carlos Cintron. Cintron. The wine of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one and oh. Foul ball there. Next pitch is outside. And that's in for a strike. On 
On the ground, right side. Throws to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Batting second. The second baseman. Number 22 now at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. Hey, one away, one away. Just no. missed. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That's the next pitch three. misses. Three and O. Oh. Three ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. And a four-pitch nope. walk. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Not offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ali. One down. Sanchez. Stepping in, Ali Sanchez. And foul ball. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. Next one pitch ball, is in the dirt. Now one and two. Oh. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Steals, steals, Here's steals. the pitch. Run around the goal. It's in the dirt. Throw to second. Save. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. One out and a runner at second. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. Batting four. Now the third, the third baseman, baseman, A.J. Vukovic. AJ. Vukovic. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. And a pitch. Ball one, one there. Ball, one strike. Is it one now? Easy out. In there. And so now one and two. One ball. Two, two outs. Strike. And one in scoring position. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. And welcome back. Bottom half off. of inning number two. Right and now the right fielder, right number 29. And Greek. There's a one now. And the pitch. And there's a the ball. Inside, ball one. Hard hit, left side. On to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Batting six. The center fielder, Drew Jones. Drew Jones getting ready to hit. Hey, here we go now. One down, one down. Popped up, foul territory oh, behind the play. Correa makes the play. And there's two away. Batting seven. The first baseman. Ivan. 
Two outs, base is empty. Number 10 will hit next. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. Hey, now we got two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Hey, let's go right here. Next offering is downstairs. Yeah. That clips the corner. No score here in the second. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. We'll move to the third with no score. As we go we to the off. last of the third, the down field. the left fielder, Camden Duzanak. Duzanak. Duzanak goes five feet, nine inches in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was a ninth round draft pick. Back in 2017. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. And that's outside. Righty delivers. Just missed. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Righty to the plate. There's the strike. And there's ball four. And the batter will be the shortstop, Blaze Alexander. Alexander. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Hey, nobody. And the righty deals. That one hit to right. Barefoot racing over to make the catch. Now that the designated hitter, John Carlos. Next Cintron. is the designated hitter, John Carlos Cintron. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Cintron starting as the designated hitter, 28 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. First offering misses the mark. Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent. It produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pud Rodriguez. Next offering is in for a strike. Duzanak stands at first with one out. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. One strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Daniels under it, and it's caught for the out. So two down now, and here is number 22. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Moses measures six feet two inches 210 pounds and he was a third round pick in 2023 and the right hander deals now this is in the air down the line barefoot makes the catch and that'll do it on to the fourth still scoreless
Welcome back. And here we is Ali Sanchez. Ali Sanchez. Hey, we got nobody. Moses back to work. Now one oh. missed. Hey, plays it first. Plays it first. And another yep, ball. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The line to kick the pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. He's got it. And there's one down. Now that the third baseman, AJ. And here is AJ Vukovic. Hey, come on now. Here we go. That Aye. one's in there, 0 and 1. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. 0-2 oh, as he waves oh, at that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Next offering is foul back. And here it comes. The Sod Poodles hitless so far in the game. Next oh, one misses. Count. Ball two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches. To right even that field. count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now it's the right fielder, number 29. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Hey, get him yourself. Strike Left hand batter right waits. Got him swinging. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. The hooks lead it one to nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy Looks outfielder, Drew Jones. All well, these fans definitely Yo. want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Wastes no time reason. there. Nope. That's about as textbook as it okay. gets. Got his stride and load oh, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Number 10 digs in now. Struck out swinging his first time. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's one down. And yeah, the batter now, Camden Duzenek. He reached out a walk his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. 
should be an inning ending double play hey, run away, run away. and that one fouled off Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Hey, let's get that two bar right here. Come on now. Kicks and fires. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. He yeah, came out of his mechanics <laughs> there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Alexander now at the plate hit it well but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time in the air left field that one ops against the fence runner around third and the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away well we're starting over again all tied up that pretty much split the zone down the middle and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run next to hit john carlos cintron First offering, and it just misses. Hey, now, we got two. We got two. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, Here here's the second baseman, the second number 22. Baseman. Tim hey, We got no outs. Moses, back to work. Oh, and one. ball one. Come on, fellas, let's go. Two oh, balls, dude. no strikes to count. pitch Ball that three. one misses three and one one strike next offering is foul back the pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. No outs. Runner at first. Ali Sanchez, the next to hit. Here. 
In the air, left side. Daniels settles under this I one. I got it. Makes the catch, one down. Now batting, third baseman, A.J. Vukovic. Now it's going to be A.J. Vukovic. Hey, one away, one away. In there for strike one. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Roll it up. The old one. Aye. Well, that's textbook pitching right there. I mean, he executed those first two pitches perfectly. The old two. And yeah, that's outside. Here comes a pitch. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Hey, first pitch strike. And now it's going to be number 29 in the dirt to second, but way too late, safe there. Really good read by the runner there. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. He's taken away the double play opportunity. Left-hand hitter waits. Two balls. No Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Two 0. Way high. Three ball. No strike. Runner at second, two down. So now two on and two outs. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. So digging in, Drew Jones. Here we go now, let's go. And that's in there for strike one. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Caught him looking for the K. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. A new pitcher in the game, Misael Tamares. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score.
first for your victorious home team. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the hook, one run, eight hits. Hello and welcome to Wagon Man Stadium. Double-A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. First pitch coming your way next. Now taking the field, never last. Just about set to go. Starting on the mound in this one, Matt Tabor. What should we keep an eye on here? Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Joe Moses, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Hey, be patient. Stay back. Get your pin. Let's go. Come on now. Get your pitch up there, kid. The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. The one two cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So one hit is all they get. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Joe Moses. His first at bat was a strikeout. Let's go. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Find some green, baby. Find some green. That one is back. It's gone. Grand slam. He'll touch them all. And they add to the lead. It's 5-zip. And a nice moment for him there. One he'll certainly remember. That's his first double-A home run. And trust me, getting that first long ball out of the way at any level comes as a nice relief. And not just for him, but for the organization as well. They're hoping he ends up being a major part of the big league club for years to come. And welcome back. Now at the plate, Joe Moses. The designated hitter. Moses, only 18 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. On the ground the first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting. Right fielder. Matthew Barefoot. So now right, it's the four hole now. hitter. Let's Joe let's Moses. He's already homered here in this one. Joe Moses. And a foul ball. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say they've only chased at pitches outside the zone a little more than 10% of the time, which is excellent. Okay, one time, right now, kid. Here we go. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. So those numbers I just mentioned tell me they've been really smart at the plate. They're feasting on the healthy stuff and avoiding the jump. Kind of sounds like your diet, boo. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Rudder at first with no outs here. In the air, left field. Nice grab on the run. 
one down just pull off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way clearly the bats came to play today and the pitching and defense as well we saw some outstanding plays great performances all the way around just one run allowed they never gave the other side a chance and this one finishes with a final of eight to one for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show i'm john chambi saying so long fans our final line score first for the victorious hooks eight runs ten hits no errors they left six men on base for the home team, one run, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Now taking the field. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set and getting the start. Blake Walston. Yeah, he gave up several earned runs his last time out. I think command is a huge issue for him and fastball command. He's got to trust it. He's got good velocity. Attack hitters with it in this one. Joe Moses cool. will hit next. Joe Moses. Hey, like you can up there, huh? And first offering is fouled off. See it drive it, kid. See it drive it. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Duzanak makes the catch, and that'll do it. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Two down, two so up next, down. Drew Ready Jones. The center fielder. Drew Jones. This one in the air center field. Moses makes the catch and that'll do it. Yeah, you can do it. No and one now the center Start fielder, Joe the Moses. The center Fly field. to left his first time up. Moses right, on getting the start in center, batting in the cleanup spot. He joined the team as a free agent. Here you go, block. That one pushed foul. Walston, just 21 years old, a former first round pick back in 2019. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And a pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But oh, you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One hit, one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Hooks have the advantage, one to nothing. So digging in, Joe field, Moses. One pitch only here. It's been Joe, such here a go. good hitter with runners in scoring Moses. position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Popped up. 
Number 22 under this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And that'll do it. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The hooks on top three to nothing. And here's the first baseman, number 10. The first baseman, number 10, Ivan Melendez. That's towards center. Moses has a beat on it. Two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah. Welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Joe Moses. And things can change quickly here with one swing. And he deals. That one lifted to left. Duzanak under it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence now boost back. for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faced. Well, this is definitely a rarity. A one-pitch save. You come into the ball game, so much pressure. Don't know what's going to happen. And fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has a big sigh of relief. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you here soon. Now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Five runs, seven hits, one... And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, towing the slab in today's game, Bryce Jarvis. Well, last time out, picked up the win. Didn't allow a run. Pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. And now the center fielder, Joe the Moses. Joe. Well, lots of pitches Moses. thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Ground ball, and left ball side, back. and that's just foul. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. And the pitch. On a line. Base hit. Dirt coming home. Moses hung up in a rundown now. The run comes in from second, and they're up by three. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Outs, runner at first. Zach Daniels digs in now. And here it comes. Got it by him for the K. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. On to the bottom of the first. The hooks on top here, three to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Joe center Moses. Field. Single and drove in a run his first Moses. time through. Hey, one time right now. Slapped foul. And the righty deals. Line drive, caught!
Now batting left fielder Zach. And now the now center back. fielder Joe center Moses. Fielder. One for two. He had an RBI Moses. base hit back in the first. The wind of the pitch. That one drilled left field. Patino pulls it down, two away. Now batting, left fielder. Here's the center now fielder, batting. Joe center Moses. Fielder. Joe. Hey, I see Moses. the driving here. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had now him out in front on that pitch away field. and wasn't able yeah. to stay closed. Daniel. So up next, Joe Moses. The center fielder. Joe Moses. Pretty good rip on it, huh? Bounced up the middle. And a base hit right there. Moses trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. And now he's out trying to get back. The huge turn backfires, and that ends the inning. Nothing across. Two hits, no errors, and one man left. On now to the... All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now here is Jordan Lawler. And now two and two. Ripped in the right center. Base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel. And you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, now here is Drew Jones, Jones for the fourth time tonight. Jones. One down here, Cohen. Two two now. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Moses moving under it, puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging from third. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 8-3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious Hooks, eight runs on 12 hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Amarillo Sod Poodles. First pitch coming your way next. Now taking the field, Verona. About to get started here. Our starter in this one, number 37. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, he's off to a good start, getting a win in his first start of the season. And so lifted a little bit of pressure. Right here, it's all about getting win number two. New inning getting started. Getting and the batter now, Joe Hitler. Moses. Joe. Come on, Moses. Pitch, Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Hit hard. Base hit. Throw is cut off. Goes to first. Save. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Matthew Barefoot getting ready to hit. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Righty delivers to the right side. On a second, they get one. Batting six, the second baseman, Ryland. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Joe Moses. Joe Moses. Moses measures six feet, two inches. Batting in the cleanup spot, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while he they're got. hot. Gathers and throws to first. And one away in the top of the third. The right fielder, number 21, Matthew. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Joe Moses. Joe Moses. There you go, see it up, let it fly. And the right hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Patino on the move to his left, pulls it in on the run. One away. Nice warm day the here. Right Good field. baseball the weather. Does that change anything, Matthew. Chris, especially for the hit? Now First and second, one out. Hit. Joe Go. Moses, the next to hit, Moses. one for three. Oh, He's been such time. a good go. hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone oh, else right is in time. slow motion, and he's in full speed. Next pitch is popped up. Base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. The right Always field. feels amazing getting a job done when the Matthew. team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. So base is loaded with one away. Here's a speed threat, Matthew Barefoot. This ball's chopped on the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now that second baseman, Ryland. Now it's the second baseman, Ryland Bannon. Second and third, two down. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. To the bottom of the sixth. So two down. Joe Moses now at the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Strike two. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. And that keeps the inning going. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So it's one run on two hits, including the homer. No errors, and nobody left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. The hooks out front, seven to two. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.
Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious Hooks, seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They lay.